Hey guys, ASAP here, and welcome to PHP tutorial number three. Uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at, uh, well, looking at the start of variables. Um, so, what are variables, basically, is the first question we need to uh, be asking ourselves. Um, basically, variables are containers used to temporarily store values. Um, these values can actually be a whole range of things, um, such as numbers, text, um, and other stuff. Um, PHP has eight types of variables, um, which include four um, single value types, um, which are Boolean values, uh, which is true or false, integer values, which is just um, numbers, floating point values, which are numbers with decimal places, and strings, which are basically characters, like uh, this is a string, because these are characters, uh, and this is an integer, because it's just a number without a floating point. Um, as well as that, it also has two multi-valued uh, types, which are arrays and objects, which we'll be looking at um, in the fairly distant future, I'd say, and also resources, which uh, interact with databases, and null, which is a value, it's a, basically a special PHP value, which, uh, a, sorry, a special PHP type, which has no value. Um, Depending, well, not depending. Sorry, it doesn't matter what type you uh, you're making, but all variables follow the same rules, which are um, a variable always starts with the uh, the dollar sign like this, um, and then after the dollar sign, we can put uh, an identifier or a name of a variable. Um, a variable can contain combinations of letters, underscores, and numbers, like this, so sum, underscore, rand, num, underscore, 12, okay, uh, these are all uh, legitimate variable names, uh, but there's some limitations as well, after the dollar sign, you can only have a letter or an underscore, you can't have a number, um, you can have numbers after the first letter, it's just that, like, something like this, is not a valid variable name, but this is a valid variable name, okay? So you can't have numbers as the first uh, thing. Sorry, as well as this, you could have... That's a valid variable name. Just so long as that first character isn't a number, it can only be an underscore or a letter. See, that works as well. Okay? Um... So, uh, as well as uh, that naming convention, variables in PHP are case-sensitive, so um, this variable is actually a different variable to this, okay? Because the first letter start the, the um, first letter in the, v in the word name starts with a capital N in this case, whereas here it starts with a lowercase n, which means they are actually different variables. Um, so, we're going to start um, looking at variables now, and working with variables, um, but to start, we're not actually going to, um, we're going to look at some predefined variables, and assign those the values inside those predefined variables to our own variables. Um, so, before we can actually assign uh, values to a variable, we have to know how to assign values to a variable. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. We just have to use the equal sign, which is also called the uh, assignment operator. Okay? So, here what we're doing is we're creating a variable called file, and then we're assigning it the value of um, the value inside uh, server script underscore file name. Uh, and it's fairly easy to figure out what this is going to do. Basically, the value that's going to be inside the value uh, inside the variable file is going to be the name of our script, okay? And basically, uh, we're making another variable called user and assigning that a value of the browser we're using, and another and a final variable called server and assigning that the value of uh, basically the server type. So whether we're using Apache or whatever, you know. So I think you guys get the idea. 
Now we can output variables in two ways. Um, we can either output them simply by putting print and outputting and typing out the variable name like this, or we can output them by typing print and then putting the variable inside quotations like we're doing here. So uh, in this case, we're outputting, we're starting out a paragraph, we're typing out current file colon, we're starting bold text, we're printing out the file name, then we're closing the bold text and closing the paragraph. Okay, and the reason we're doing this all in three separate print statements is because uh, this way we print out the variable with when it's not inside quotations. Okay, um, because we're uh, basically sorry, I'm getting a bit confused. The only reason you'd actually use it this way as opposed to putting it inside quotations is if you only wanted to output the uh, the value inside that variable. Um, but what we're d actually doing here is we uh, we're outputting more than just the variable value. We're outputting the current. We're outputting some text as well as uh, tags. So the more um, intelligent way to do that would be to simply have it all as one print statement and put them inside quotations. So actually, this the this string of statements and this one statement here all do the same thing. Uh, and let's take a look at what they actually do. I'm going to open WAMP, uh, go to localhost, click the, f the uh, folder, and we can see here current file ewamp uh, www.tutorialsindex.php, and then it outputs exactly the same thing. The only difference is that here we're doing it with three statements, so I could demonstrate outputting a file without putting it between uh, double quotes, and here we're doing it with uh, one statement, so I could output, so I could demonstrate outputting it inside double quotes. Um, now, um, I've output, I've I've written this statement here to demonstrate that trying to output a variable inside single quotes doesn't work, and uh, I'm not going to talk about why it doesn't work in this tutorial. I'm going to talk about that in a couple of tutorials time, but basically, um, we're doing exact, we're outputting exactly the same thing as we we're outputting here, except we're using single quotes, and if we look at what this actually does, it says current file is file, and rather than outputting the value inside the variable file, it put it outputs the actual the string literal uh, dollar sign file, uh, and basically a string literal is uh, the literal string. It's what's actually there, as opposed to the value contained inside file, which is what we're out outputting here. Okay. Uh, and I finish this off by outputting the browser we're using and the server type we're using. So you can see here I'm using, uh, um, oh, here we go, Chrome. We're using Chrome there. It says uh, I'm either using Mozilla, or I'm using Apple WebKit, or I'm using Chrome, or I'm using Safari. I guess they all have um, similar, uh, I don't know, similar... Uh, ways of recognizing what they are. So it, it can't exactly pinpoint, but it can give you a list of ones that are very similar to the one you're using. And it also outputs the server type we're using, which is Apache, which was installed when we uh, when we installed WAMP. So uh, just a short introduction to variables. I hope everyone understood what I was talking about in this tutorial. If you didn't, leave me a, uh, a comment or send me a personal message. Anyways, guys, over and out.